Chocho Siwa is digging her own grave. And I'm here to break this down and explain why she's slowly becoming a caricature version of herself. We all know Jojo Siwa, though I don't know many people or honestly anyone who listened to her music prior to Karma. She had a strong media presence due to her relentless reality TV appearances, but she was always thought of as a rainbow and glitter girl. But something shifted with her new song Karma. Karma tries very hard to introduce us to a whole new Jojo, darker, edgier, and frankly, a little confusing. Here's the thing, artists can evolve, that's great, but the shift is only aesthetics. Hearing her speaking in interviews, it's clear she's the same person, which makes this feel unauthentic and fake. She's very clear about wanting and seeking attention, and she says so in this clip. I don't care if people like it, I don't care if people hate it, but I want people to turn their head at it and I want people to notice it. Social media had a huge field day with Karma. First, the song was trending on TikTok because of the ridiculous looking dance she created. Twitter saw comments like, this isn't the Jojo I know. And is she trying to be Miley Cyrus? And we all know she's trying to be Miley Cyrus because she says so here. When I was eight is when Miley had her bangers moment. And I was like, all I want is to have that one day. Like, I want that. But the controversy doesn't stop there. Just when you thought she couldn't get any worse, the internet found out that Karma isn't even Jojo's song originally. She was going around bragging about how she wrote it and how she's never heard of the original singer's name. Apparently, a singer named Brit Smith recorded the song years ago with Timbaland on production. Even had a scrapped music video. Yikes. Stealing someone else's song is a major no-no in the music industry. And while she didn't actually steal the song, since it was one of those songs labels and producers shop around for ages and give to other artists to demo until someone buys it, which is quite a common theme in the music industry. To think Jojo had no idea how the song got to her hands is ridiculous. And no one is buying that. There's also speculation that Jojo Siwa is not even singing on the song. Mind you that whoever's singing on the song is using a ton of autotune and production tricks. No one ever sounds this perfect. But it does fit the genre, it does fit the style, but this is the definition of overproducing. To be honest, the Brit Smith version is good. Now Jojo defends her new image, saying it's about growing up and expressing herself artistically. The music itself isn't groundbreaking, hell, it's even outdated, to be honest. And the whole bad girl persona feels forced. Look, Jojo see what brought joy to millions of kids on Nickelodeon, Maybe this is just a misstep, a bad calculation, a bad strategy, don't you think? Maybe she'll find her footing in this new direction, but for now, the karma era is causing more damage to her than anything she ever did. This can't be the only song she has in store. There's probably a full album waiting to be released. But to me, I find it very corny. I want to know, is this a flop for you or do you like karma? Anyway, hit the like and subscribe for more pop culture.